Ethiopia now, where the government there is facing increasing pressure, both internationally and internally, to investigate recent spate of violence that has killed nearly 70 people in just one week. MPs from the Amhara and Oromia regions have boycotted parliament, demanding that Prime Minister give uh, an explanation for the ongoing ethnic unrest which has seen at least 700,000 people fleeing their homes. Fighting between the ethnic Oromos and Somalis broke out in September, and the latest revenge attacks occurred in the eastern part of Oromia region, where many were injured and property destroyed. The BBC's Emmanuel Igunza has met some of those refugees who have left their homes. He sent us this report. These are the temporary shelters that are now home to hundreds of displaced people. The deadly ethnic violence in eastern Ethiopia has uprooted men, women and children in the tens of thousands. All available space at this university campus is now taken up by widows and orphans, victims of the vicious cycle of violence. I'm told that around 40 women share this very small room, some with children. As you can see around, they don't have much to go by. One of these mattresses is shared by three or four women every night. They have stayed here for more than three months with very little food or water. And each one here tells of horror stories of murders, rape and looting by armed men. I will never forget what happened for the rest of my life. It's like we are dead. We are not alive. I feel very sad because I lost many people, including my brothers and sisters, my father and my mother. Many houses were burned down. I am so sad. I'm feeling so sad. The conflict is a complex mix of a border dispute and competition for resources. Both regions have accused each other of using security forces and armed militias to carry out atrocities. The government says it is investigating the allegations. Uh, there are some among the you know, regional uh, or maybe even the federal uh, security forces uh, at individual level, not as, uh, at, at an institutional level, uh, uh, or for one or another reason, uh, may misbehave. And uh, we have uh, laws governing such behavior, and uh, the government will take serious measure. The Ethiopian government has faced a turbulent two years with widespread protests against its 25-year rule. And there are fears that the escalating violence could further plunge the country into a deeper crisis. Imano Ligunza, BBC News, Addis Ababa.